Assalamu alaikum, I'm Islam, and this is the Museum of Turkish and Islamic Arts in Istanbul, Turkey. We're literally a stone throw away from the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. The only thing separating the two is the Sultan Ahmed Square, where chariot and horse races were held at the Hippodrome during the Eastern Roman Empire's heydays, a place that made the fortune and demise of a lot of Constantinople's Byzantine citizens. All that is now left from that era is the Serpent's Column and two obelisks. As for the museum itself, it's in the Ibrahim Pasha Palace. He happened to be Suleiman the Magnificent's Grand Vizier and son-in-law. Talk about perks. Built in the 1400s, it's one of the oldest and best-preserved palaces from the Ottoman era. As you explore, you can find rare works from different periods and areas of the Islamic world, such as the Rashidun, Umayyad, Abbasid, Artukid, Ayyubid, Ilkhanat, Timurid, Safavid, Qajar, Mamluk, Seljuk, and Ottoman dynasties. Among the artwork, there's an amazing collection of rugs, glassware, stone, ceramics, terracotta artifacts, jewelry, crafted wood, clothes, and lots lots more. There is also the holy relic section of the museum that presents artifacts such as Qurans, preserved parts of the Kaaba, and other historical and religiously significant pieces. But what I enjoyed the most of my visit was how the Arabic calligraphy changed over time. The introduction of accents and dots complexified the writing but made it easier for non-Arabophones to learn Arabic. To see how this was done through the centuries is really interesting. Most often, it's the language that changes, but the medium stays the same. But as it goes for Arabic, it's the opposite that happened. Whether you're an art lover or not, this place is full of Islamic history. I really got a kick out of this museum. So if you have a chance, swing by and take a look. With that said, Salam from the Museum of Turkish and Islamic Art in Istanbul, Turkey.